हाई विक्रम हाई राजीव आई एम हियर एट द स्ट्रेटस हेड क्वार्टर्स इन बैंगलोर एंड आई एम हियर फॉर अ गैजेट गुरु एक्सक्लूसिव दे आर गोइंग टू लॉन्च दिस एक्सपीरियंस जोन tomorrow but i like i said it's an exclusive so i got a sneak peek so this is the connex one of their high end machines and i have put something into print here so today is day 1 i'm going to reveal what it was that i put into print on day 2 which is tomorrow and then i'm going to tell you my first impression of this huge machine right here It's day 2 and I'm back at the Stratus's headquarters as promised and the launch has taken place. I'm right here at the experience zone and the experience zone is now officially open to public. Getting back to the question what I got printed yesterday, it's time to reveal that now. Tada! So we've got Gadget Guru written right here exclusively for us and one for Vikram, one for Rajiv. Neat, right? This machine actually uses um, three kinds of different materials and uh, three kinds of different colors, and it gives you a variety of colors and a variety of digital material. And it can start with transparent. It can be opaque. Uh, of course, it all starts from the CAD file over here, the design CAD file, and uh, converted into an STL file, which the printer can read. and uh, comes on here on the tray and this is where it starts printing layer by layer well this is a completely commercial machine so definitely not something as an individual i can use though everything is automated but i think there is a certain amount of training required because you are playing with different materials you are playing with different kind of colors here is where the material goes the three different kind of materials and the color and along with that something called as support material goes in this is model and this is support so if you look at this you look at the ganesha that has been printed for us uh, this is actually the support material here this one which can be broken actually let me try and it's quite tough it's tough to break it's tough to break but i promise you this is water soluble so this can totally break and go away and what will be left would be the outer design just the ganesha sitting on top of this plate right here so how long does it take to print something on this machine well the plate here is 500 by 500 and it can print up to 300 mm in height uh i have been told that they have built or have printed rather an entire dashboard a car dashboard on it in parts of course and when that was happening uh the machine was actually running non stop for a week so that is pretty impressive and that's the longest i think they have run it it is a very powerful machine it is a complicated machine it's a versatile machine and it's a machine that i as an individual just cannot use which is in sharp contrast to the machine right there that i'm going to take you to which is the mojo this is also called the desktop machine someone uh, who uh, is a hobbyist uh just starting out 3d printing wants to try something at home they can use the mojo why is it easy to use uh, because it uses uh, one material only and it uses one color only and i can show it all here because i've actually used this um it's So this is where the the material goes in. This is where the support material goes in, and I can set this up myself. So it's, it was pretty easy. Uh, you open the. I'm just going to show you the tip of it. So I open from here, pull this out. So here's the tip, which is going to do the printing. This is the the support, and this is for the model, as in the actual material. The mojo costs about four lakh rupees, 
would I invest? Is it worth it? I think I'd rather design the files myself, my CAD files or my scans, and maybe then go to a commercial guy who owns something like a Connex and pay him to get my designs out. But that's just something I would do in my personal opinion instead of spending about 4 lakhs uh, on a hobby machine.